What up, what up, y'all? This is Isaiah Fowler, the founder of Swap Eyewear and Swap Agency. And this is the best D2C podcast on the planet. Um, today, I got a good episode, right? I want to talk about like PR. People will ask, should I get a PR firm? How do I get PR? Things like that. So I want to talk about that today because I feel like that's super important for a D2C brand. And it also, it really depends on what level you at. So before we get started, I dropped this right here, right? Strategize with a vision. This is a playbook and it allows you and it helps you strategize your vision for your direct to consumer brand. So if you're looking to grow your company, if you're looking to grow your brand, definitely head to swapcircle.com, join the circle and make sure you grab this, right? So getting PR. Um, here's the thing about PR. You can hire somebody and pay however much and not get the return, but a lot of people will know who you are. And I'm talking about know who your brand is, not necessarily know who you are. If you put out the founder story, then cool, but know who your brand is. Now, does that equal dollars? No, it doesn't equal dollars. But it could benefit you, but not immediately. So, I want you guys to think about things from this perspective. And this is why your story is so important. Number one, if you don't even have a story for your brand or no angle or no UVP, you don't need to be thinking about getting PR yet because you don't know what angle you're going to have, you know, uh, uh, your story is going to go out to the public. So this is why story is so important. When you have a story, the PR comes to you, Right? You got to have a good product, but when you have a story, the PR is going to come to you and the opportunities are going to come to you. And all you need is one solid, uh, you know, PR player, one solid person to maybe introduce you to somebody or something and you'll get the PR that you may be looking for. I like to allow certain things to happen organically because if you want to go with PR, it's probably going to be, you know, between three and like $10,000 a month. It just really depends. And it could be more too. So it depends on who you hire because who you hire is going to pretty much dictate what kind of press you get and what opportunities you get because you're banking on their relationships, right? So if you don't have that, 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 you know, $10,000 to lose, you kind of can't really depend on that immediately. See, PR is a brand play. I want you to understand, you have transactional decisions in your business, you got operational decisions, and you got like brand decisions, okay? So transactional is like things to increase sales. Operations is like things to increase efficiencies within the business. And brand decisions is like the long-term vision What's our narrative? How do we want to be perceived in the market? Uh, how do we want to talk about our UVP and what makes our company different? How do we want to tell the story of the brand to the, to the public and to you know, uh, a mass amount of people? So a lot of times we think that we need PR, but we really just need to focus on growing our company. And, and people probably be like, what do you mean by that? Focus on getting first time customers. Focus on your back end. Focus on, uh, uh, you know, serving your customers. Focus on fulfillment times. Focus on your messaging. Focus on the brand. Focus on the vision. Focus on being consistent. A lot of people don't even want to, people want to get PR because they're just not even consistent. So when a PR comes, if you ain't consistent, that PR is only going to help you for 30 days anyway. Right? So we got we to gotta start looking in the mirror and saying, no matter what happens, this company is going to grow because I'm going to market effectively to my, to my you know, target audience, my target customer, and we're going to grow that company. This is why it's so important. I did a video uh, not too long ago about having an offer. This is why having an offer is important because if you don't have an offer, you don't know what, you, what you're really selling. This is why having a story 
positions your company and it positions your brand to have you know higher and greater respon- uh, uh, opportunities. If you don't have a story for your brand, if your brand doesn't have a story, if your brand doesn't have a narrative, nobody's going to be interested enough for you to write, you know, have anything written up um, on PR. And also, you got to think about this too. Let's say you're seeking PR, which is, a, in my eyes, it's equivalent to looking at uh, trying to get something to go viral, right? Because you're kind of just hoping that a whole bunch of people find out about you and then boom, you're going to just blow up. So watch this. Let's say you do get some PR and you uh, you blow up in 30 days. If you go, if you blow up too fast, that could hinder your company. It could cause all kind of mental health stuff on you. It could really make your company go, go underwater if you weren't prepared and didn't have the proper infrastructure, right? Um, also, it could be a short-term thing. You could literally get all this attention from the media, make a good amount of money, and then six months later, nobody knows about you and your sales just went back down. So when you're seeking PR, you got to ask yourself with the increased amount of orders and everything else, how can we sustain that? Or how can we use the revenue from that experience and that time of two weeks to reinvest into the business to make our company more sustainable so that we can be solid for the long-term growth? That's what you really got to ask yourself. How am I doing, what am I doing right now? How is that going to set me up for the long term, right? There's a book I read, one of my favorite books. Well, this is a series, right? The 22 Laws of Immutable Branding, okay? I love this book. Another book is The 22 Laws of Immutable Marketing, okay? Inside of The 22 Laws of Immutable Marketing, there's a law, and it talks about, it says it's the law of hype. And you know what the law of hype says? The law of hype says nothing in the press appears as it is as it appears, right? That's the law of hype. So what this means is I use that as like that is a law because I've seen it happen so many times. So it's true. So if you're seeking PR to save your business, then when you're in the press, you're not really going to be, your company isn't going to be as what it appears to be. And it's like, do you want to, do you want to go that route? If you just focus on what's my UVP, who's my customer, where did it, where are they at? You know what I'm saying? How can I get them to uh, purchase, make their first purchase? How can I max out their LTV? If you focus on those things, everything else is going to come to you. Everything else is going to be presented to you. But if you don't focus on those things, press ain't going to help you. Press ain't going to save you. Right? Press is only to help you keep uh, the, the market share of attention. Yeah, it's going to help you grow as well. But once you get to a certain level, people are going to expect to see your company in articles. So at that point, you got a press person, uh, a PR agency helping you stay relevant on a certain level. Right. And now if you got a a, a cool amount of money and you want to hire a PR agency, that's fine. Allow them to kind of help you go up. That's how uh, Warby Parker, they started. Right. They got featured in uh, Vogue and uh, GQ magazine. And then that's how they launched. And, you know, they, they blew up from there. Right. That was press. But they had money to be able to do that. And they knew that on the back end we were going to be able to fulfill this amount of orders and all that other stuff. They were on back order, but they had, you know, they were they were thinking about that and forecasting that. They knew it was going to be a big feature. But you can't be looking to, you know, have a big feature and then your back end ain't even ready for that. Right? You don't want to be taken out. And then um, something else you want to think about is like, what PR do I even want? Does this PR align with my brand? Does this PR align with my brand aesthetic? Does this PR align with what we stand for? Because there's big platforms that ain't even in alignment with what you what you stand for, but people are willing to try to get on these platforms because they have certain amount of viewers. But just because those uh, that amount of people are going to see your brand does not mean that that amount of people, you're going to have a good conversion rate. 
right? You got to think about these things. Don't do things just because it's a lot of people that could potentially see me. That's flawed thinking right there. Because what's going to happen is you're going to spend this money. It's not going to happen like you thought. And now you're going to be asked out. You're going to be asked out of money. And you're going to wish that you wouldn't, you would have just put the money inside of your business. Happens all the time. So don't think that this press is just going to save you. It's, it's not going to save you, right? You cannot get away from having to build a real company. You can't get away from that. You could try, but you're always going to have to come back around and realize, oh, yeah, I got I to gotta do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I should have done this a long time ago. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it the second time. So why don't you just hunker down, accept that this is going to be a journey, right, and get down Get your hands dirty and get to building. PR is it's going to come, right? It's going to come, but you don't have to depend on that. Depend on your skill set, depend on your mindset, depend on your strategy, depend on your confidence, depend on your belief in yourself. That's the things that you got to depend on. That's what's going to save you, right? So PR agencies have their place, but a lot of times it's not a Band-Aid. It's not a Band-Aid, Right? So that's what I wanted to say, yo. If you're looking for a PR agency or something like that, or you were thinking about that, you know what I'm saying? I hope this video helped you. Um, But be sure, if you haven't, go grab uh, your your playbook right here. Um, This is helping direct to consumer brands focus and lock in and strategize. And I'm going to see you all in the next episode. Always remember, everything you do in life, it starts with a vision. Peace.